Hey, what's up, guys? So today we're going to talk about Kyler Murray's ankle injury that happened late in the fourth quarter in his game against the Green Bay Packers. We're going to discuss the mechanism of injury, the anatomy behind this injury, and what the rehab timeline looks like for the Arizona Cardinals quarterback. It looks like as of right now, Kyler Murray is listed as questionable, and it will be a game time decision whether he plays or not. So let's dive right in and check out what happened. By the way, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jin. I'm a third year physical therapy student, and I post every week on interesting topics like these, or I talk about my life in DPT school. So feel free to subscribe and turn the notifications on if that is something that sounds interesting to you. So looking at this injury here, second and one in the red zone, Kyler Murray takes off and he gets tackled by the Packers defender. Um, the interesting thing to note here is his left foot is planted firmly on the ground. So there is nowhere for him to move that ankle or his lower leg while the Packers defender kind of collapses and falls on his um, left lower leg or high ankle area. So he's having to absorb all that external trauma to his lateral or his outside lower leg. So with injuries like these, they can result in damages in multiple areas of our lower leg. But very generally speaking, we're looking at two different possibilities here um, that's most likely. Number one is sprain of the ligaments on the medial side of our ankle because the foot is planted and Kyler Murray is having to absorb the shock from the lateral side. You can kind of see that the medial side of his ankle or the ligaments on the medial side of his ankle will be put on tension or they will be put on stress. And if that stress gets to be too much to handle, then those ligaments are exposed to potential um, sprains. And possibly number two is a fracture. So any parts of his distal fibula or tibia or even any uh, bony structures that make up his ankle complex um, can be fractured because of how his foot is planted and obviously our bones can't bend that much so if it gets to the point where it can't bend anymore it fractures but luckily for Kyler Murray and the Cardinals fans it looks like he dodged a massive bullet by avoiding a fracture because if it was a fracture and especially if it involved a surgery then his return to play timeline would have been much longer than what's expected as of right now. So with all that being said, this is more likely looking like a high ankle sprain, a sprain of those ligaments on the medial side of his ankle. And we can narrow it down to potentially two ligaments on the medial side of our ankle or his ankle in this case, and that's anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament and posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, which connects the tibia to the fibula on the distal side of our lower body. And he's missed two games so far and it's looking like a real possibility that he might actually come back this week against Seattle. So it's looking like it may be possible that this is a grade one ligament sprain or potentially at the very most grade two ligament sprain. And you can check out the return to play timeline for different ligament sprains up here. Generally speaking, ligament sprains can be more difficult to heal in a timely manner compared to muscle strains because it doesn't receive as much blood flow to the area as much as muscles do. But it's looking like he might come back sooner than later and missing two to three games isn't the end of the world. Uh, compared to how this injury could have been much, much worse. So I hope he comes back um, stronger than before. And I thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.